Hey folks, it's Big Bit back at you with a real quick video, and guess what I'm talking about? No, it's not Raw, no, it's not SmackDown, no, it's not NXT, it's not even UFC, but it is wrestling. My top five favorite tag teams of all time. Now, when I say my top five favorite, it's not a top ten, top five tag teams of all time, it's my favorites. So this is just a, my kind of opinion thing. I'm going to talk about the tag teams. It was actually set up to be top 10, my favorite top 10 tag teams. I feel that that might go a little too long. So I'm doing my top five. I will have the full list of 10 down below in the descriptions down there. Yeah. So let's get this started. My favorite tag teams, top five edition. Welcome to the Bear Cave. Number five. Now, I had two teams here very close together, five and six, but my number five favorite tag team. Now, I'm one I like to be entertained. I love when I can walk away from a show and say I was thoroughly entertained. And this next, this tag team really does that for me. Now, right now, I don't like the characters that are being used on a different show. But when they were the together, they were a great entertaining tag team. The Hardy Brothers. That's right, the Hardy Bros, the Hardy Boys, whatever you want to call them. The Hardy Boys. That's a tag team. You, I mean, they, if, if you went to a show and you watched these guys, especially in a ladders match, any match, these guys you, were in the, on the card. You were going to be entertained. And all the other matches could have sucked. But this match would have entertained you for sure. There's nothing like the Hardy Boys doing their swan to swan, uh, dives. Their, their, their twist of fates. They're, oh my goodness. These guys were high flyers. When they were in a ladder match, they made the ladder match. It was all about the high flying off the top of the ladder. It was about... Someone's going to go flying. You know that song, I Believe I Can Fly? The Hardy Boys live that daily. And that's why they're my top five. Number five, the Hardy Boys. Number four, the Outsiders. Yes, I'm talking NWO Outsiders. Too sweet. These guys, you know, they may not have been the high-flying uh, kind of guys, but they were very entertaining. They did a good job on the mic. Um, and really, every time they came down, I got excited, even when they were black and white. And I didn't like NW black and white. Loved it when the Wolfpack came out, but wasn't a big fan of the black and white. Just got to say that. But these two guys, they, they were very entertaining, uh, you know, as members of the clique. As, uh, as, you know, these two just had talent beyond measure. And, uh, you know, I like these guys when they did individual wrestling, wrestling, uh, Kevin Nash's Diesel. And I, I followed, uh, uh, Scott Hall as Razor Ramon. So, I mean, I, I'm a big, big fan of these two guys as he is. Then you put them together. It was just like a match made in heaven right there. And I was still a big fan. And that's why. They're my number four tag team. I like them, the Outsiders, because they're just too sweet. My number three favorite tag team is... <laughs> we got two words for ya. And I'm not talking about New Age Outlaws. I'm talking about Degeneration X, Shawn Michaels, and Triple H. I'm talking about, yes, they were great as the originals, but they were even better when they came back. These guys never got old. These two together made Degeneration X. They were Degeneration X. Can't go wrong with a little Shawn and a little Hunter, could ya? Uh, I love all the stuff they did to Vince McMahon where it was just those two by themselves. I love all the mayhem they caused throughout the years. The Generation X, you are truly missed. <laughs> but you got to love yourself some. Uh, Degeneration X. Think you can tell us what to wear? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. They had two words for you. And they're also my number three 
tag team on this list. Number two tag team on my list of favorite tag teams of all time. Just recently decided to leave the WWE. You know what I'm talking about. Because it wasn't a tag team match until you saw someone go through a table. That's right. The Dudley Boys. There's nothing like Team 3D, the Dudley Boys, whatever you want to call them. They were one of the greatest tag teams, without a doubt. I follow these guys from ECW days, through the WWE, even watched them on TNA, watched them back with WWE. These two guys, you know, when, 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 when Bubba Ray called for the table and Devon got it, you knew someone was about ready to go through it. Most exciting moment for a wrestling fan was knowing that someone's going through a table. And these two guys were about ready to put you through that table. There's nothing like the Dudley Boys. So, one last time. Devon, get the tables. Because you're my number two tag team on this list. The number one tag team on this list. <laughs> oh, rush. That's right, you know what I'm talking about. Legion of Doom. Hawk and Animal. I'm a huge fan. Been a huge fan for back in the old days. I watched them as a kid and they just when they would come out, I went crazy. This was my tag team. You know, today's groups, they have their own tag teams. Well, guess what? I had the Legion of Doom. And there was nothing like a childhood with the Legion of Doom. This tag team rep represented a lot that I was. You know, it was more than just the shoulder pads that they came out in, which was a cool touch because I'm a huge football fan. But it was just the way they handled themselves, the way they dominated. There was nothing like the Legion of Doom. There's nothing ever will be. They've been impersonated many times. And impersonations are the number one way, form of flattery or whatever they say. But this tag team will go down in history. It's one of the greatest tag teams, I believe, to ever come into the WWE. Ever work a wrestling ring. So, one last time. Ooh, what a rush. Legion of Doom, my number one. Number one. Well, that's it. That's all I got. That's my five favorites. I don't know what yours is. If you want to make a video expressing your five favorite tag teams of all time, feel free to. Um, drop me a line in the comment section. I'll go check it out. There's other teams that could have been put in there, of course. The Steiner Brothers. You got uh, Sting and Luger when they teamed up. And in fact, they're inside my top ten. Um, you got uh, the team that I was going back and forth with the Hardy Boys was uh, the Brothers of Destruction. Um, I mean, you got a lot of teams in here that you could really... Uh, American Alpha, a modern-day team, a team of today. Um, the Rock and Sock Connection, always very entertaining. So, I mean, you got other teams in there. The New Age Outlaws, Enzo and Cass, Harlem Heat. I mean, you could keep going on the Usos. Teams that I liked, I enjoyed. But these are my five five favorites uh, again in the comment section will be my top 10 of my favorites uh, so hope you guys enjoyed um, it was a privilege doing this video I actually enjoy these videos so I'm gonna get on out of here catch you guys later and uh, thank you again for tuning in to the bear cave with big bear peace